We flew over the rising terrain from Memphis to Santa Fe. After five hours of flying, we arrived at Santa Fe Airport, which is nestled in a magnificent valley. Their signature FBO exceeded our expectations. At 10 o'clock the next morning, we departed from Santa Fe with a density altitude of 5,800 feet, which afforded us a 700 foot per minute climb en route to Carlsbad, California. Morning, United 2097, flight level 350. In Albuquerque, United 2097, like to uh, request 370. That's 14. Holy moly. 2055, oh, I'm on 4004. Good day. That's right here. Say 10.7156. That's 23. It's full throttle 23. So it's 25. We don't have 23, but according to this, you got uh, 20.7. 20.7, right? Wow. Uh, that's pretty impressive. That's calling for a true air of 156. And we're getting 148. That's the weight issue. Uh, yeah, no doubt. But it's Let looking for a fuel flow of 10.7. We're at 12.6. 2692, United 2997. Have that. A little shaky, baby? A little bit. That looks good. Right 720 at 340. That's not bad. That's kind of smoothed out. Oh, and that's we were at 2596. Want to confirm you got us? Uh, 160. Oh, get off. Hey, horse. Not a chance. Thank you. Full pressure is right on the money. Uh, Seventy point five is the fuel flow. Seven point eight, twelve point five. We're a little bit high. One sixty five. One forty. Yeah, I don't know where he's getting one sixty. Probably not with all the stuff we have in. Uh, it's probably well, actually thirty six hundred pounds or less. Yeah. Well, I bet you yeah, that's right. We're, we're at about 3,900. So if we were to go, Rich, we actually at peak will be fine too. Uh huh. Uh, yep. Guess what? This is uh, below 65% power. Oh power. yes. So well, let's see if we can reduce this a bit, and then reduce this a bit. What we get? Eight. Yeah, not bad. We got up from 138 to 145. Air of 147. Not very pretty, but... Well, at 143, it's still four hours. Uh, yep. I'm supposed to go to uh, one uh, tailwind somewhere out there, somewhere. So, oh, we could see that. Ah, that's where the issue is then. Uh, that's where the issue was. But now we need to go and check for a bit. You can uh, make, uh, make yourself some notes and have a crypt. Uh, half the time I forget. Alright, so 9,000 is crosswind. Six knots. Yeah, that's about right. And it becomes a tailwind. 
Oh, that's good. It kind of flattens out a little bit. So oh. we will get a little bit for Drake. Between Gallup and Drake will be good. Not much in the way of knots in any event. No. Southwest 835-360-290. That's so cool. That is very cool. You go bomb. A better. As I definitely like that. Ah, guess what? Twitter speed up to 151. Ah, that's good. Two, well, that was a zero now. And then descend via the Lobo 3 and set maintain 16,000 south of state 35. We'll switch tank that uh, when it gets to exactly 10 gallons. 30, 35, thank you, south of state 35. Just run to 20 gallons and bring it back down. Uh -huh. I'll see where we are. Crossbat Jet Center. Delta, turn left off of five to Jet Center. See you later. Five, six, let's do that. Thanks. Four, eight, five, out of five. Mike, you said right downwind? Uh, right crosswind. We're going to head out over the water towards uh, past Oceanside. Nine, five, Mike. Nine, five, Mike, roger. Runway two, four, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, two, four, nine, five, Mike. I see a guy looking at us. There he is. Follow my tower, Skyhawk 465, Charlie Alpha in the hold area next to Alpha 1, waiting IFR release and squawk code. 465, Charlie Alpha on our ground, squawk 5203. Squawk 5203, 465, Charlie Alpha. See, given the guy taxi instructions almost. That was interesting. Uh, that was interesting. But uh, I think. Oh, I don't know what. Oh, okay, they want you over there. Oh. And they're gonna pack you away in the hangar again. All right. He wants me there, okay? Tower 95, Mike, can I turn onto our right downwind to get above these clouds? Good. Mike, not showing your transponder on. Nice, Mike. Can you repeat? Not picking up your transponder. Uh, 